Okay, our third presenter today is uh, Dr. Tom. Uh, Enoch Tom is a research assistant professor in the Department of Visual Studies at Ningnan University. His research interests are Hong Kong cinema, Hong Kong literature, Chinese cinema, and independent cinema. He is currently writing a book about Hong Kong independent cinema. He has published on Hong Kong cinema, Hong Kong literature, and cinema. Uh, like a tongue twister, right? <laughs> His uh, works have appeared in uh, Journal of Chinese Cinema, Interactions, um, and um, Exposition, among others. So um, the um, title of um, Dr. Tam's presentation today is the, um, the Song Ecology in Hong Kong Ethnographic Documentaries. So let's uh, welcome Dr. Tam. Thanks, Howard. Uh, uh, also, thanks, uh, Casey and Jessica, invite me to have a paper. Uh, to present paper here. Uh, but let me check the title of the, uh, the symposium, a crowd hit scene when uh, and I try to cons uh, think of anything that I can present in, uh, in relation to uh, my research focus and Hong Kong independent uh, firm. And I come up with sound. Uh, I, I, I just think that maybe sound can have anything to be related to, you know, Wind, air, or or sea, or heat. So I you know, uh, have this paper, uh, the Sun Ecology in Hong Kong, ethnographic uh, documentary, of, and, and and also I I would say that, the, that this paper, this presentation is uh, again a um, uh, preliminary one. So I welcome all your comments and questions at the end of the presentation. So let me share my PowerPoint first. Uh, So, uh, so uh, let me begin with uh, an other uh, short essay I, I, I've written uh, in, in, in the past few years. Uh, I've, I've, I've put forward a, an idea of uh, a turn to the politics of place in Hong Kong independent documentary. And uh, I think this is a bit uh, commonly known that, uh, idea that I, uh, in, in, in this morning, uh, uh, Dr. Emily Chong also um, mentioned about this, that the turn to, some would say, you know, uh, an eco-critical turn and turn to the uh, environmental, environmentalism, or let's say turn to a politic of place. It uh, all begins in uh, 2003, when uh, the Hong Kong government, you know, uh, uh, tried to implement some policy that would like to include uh, creativities uh, in the cultural policy and would like to frame Hong Kong as a uh, kind of creative uh, uh, creative city. So then uh, it begins a, a series of urban renewal uh, project. And in this urban renewal project, uh, they reclaim some streets, reclaim some lands, uh, especially those, you know, uh, uh, space that are highly related to creativity. For example, uh, the first case here is at Lei Dong Gai, Lei Dong Street. And so the reclaim the street, uh, this street is for producing, you know, wedding related uh, uh, accessory and, 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 and uh, commodity. And the whole street uh, was reclaiming, uh, well, or the plan was announced in 2003, and then it begins a series of uh, post demonstration and protests and the campaign of preserving uh, the streets. And during this campaign, of course, a, 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 a series of new vocabulary uh, appears in Hong Kong uh, public and uh, in the media, especially for, for example, uh, uh, democratic management of space uh, or a new angle, any perspective to. Uh, perceive the, uh, the, the the urban space. Uh, so that, that it is you know let's begin in two thousand and three and a long long struggle and series all the way down to two thousand and seven, and then another com uh, campaign also very well known of course uh, is is in two thousand and six and seven uh, the campaign for uh, the preservation of strawberries and Queen's peas uh, uh, in uh, Central. Okay, Admiralty and Central. And also during the campaign, a lot of uh, young scholars of activists uh, uh, introduced new terms and new vocabulary. 
uh, including the protection of space, uh, all those discourse, di discourse, uh, discourses uh, related to place and uh, spatial practice, uh, for example, the leave the space, uh, uh, the, 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 the cultural identity, or the uh, place-based cultural identity, something like that. So, so we can witness, you know, the, 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 the in the early 2000s, a series of struggle and then generate uh, what I call the social political documentary. This is very popular since 2008, and I have a list of you know, uh, not only documentary, but also some shots and feature films uh, on the left hand side. So uh, those films are you know, uh, uh, concerned are very much a lot about you know, the space of politics, the politics of place, or the topography. I don't know whether I use the term of topo, graphical film or topo film is a, is a good term, but anyway, I, those things are highly related to the, to the, to the, to the the matters of uh, place and space, including from the 2007 and eggs, lump sums, uh, beyond the queens. It, it is a documentary about the uh, 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 queen's peers' uh, occupations. And then uh, we have uh, agricultural documentary. We have uh, Ho Chong trilogy of uh, Sai Gong uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, and also some documentary about urban reading for, for example, Anson back on the act of the building uh, city we sang. And a lot, uh, 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 all the way down to you know, 2020, we still have some that related to you know, the topography and, and the project of place. Uh, so this is how I begin uh, my you know, observation and research. And the next step is, of course, I you know introduced the, the idea of uh, uh, ethnographic documentary, uh, or I can, I can observe a trend of this ethnographic documentary in recent years. Also, after the two thousand and eight, uh, the, the the wave of those you know, uh, social political documentary. So it is all because of the, uh, the 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 anxiety of disappearance generated by the urban political project initiated by the government. You know. Those got the government project reclaim a lot of streets and lands and space, and then demolish a lot of buildings and communities and uh, 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 and uh, 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 relocate people from one place to another. And then this anxiety of disappearance you know, appears amongst uh, the Hong Kong population, and especially towards the expansionism of urban redevelopment. Development. So the mentality behind this, you know, whole, uh, government policy, you know, always you know, use to make up the land, you know, turn it into, uh, we will have stay and properties and then uh, uh, sell it to the to the to the, to, 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 to the residents. This kind of exp expansion expansion is some of uh, urban development. So there is the urge to record uh, the story of the community, the story of you know those areas. So it is. You know, it, Based on the insight of disappearance to, to, to record the disappearing or marginalized community and practices. And it's echoed to what we need to set the story matter, right? I think it's the same mentality behind. So we have seen, I'm not sure whether an anthropographic documentary is a good term, but anyway, that's going to be there. We can discuss, discuss but be, the, the basic idea behind it is the urge to record a community. Uh, the daily practices, the daily activities uh, in uh, certain areas for certain group of people, okay, to actively preserve. If we cannot preserve the actual existence of some space, actually, and, and at least we can preserve uh, the visual images. So to show the visibility of this community. So we have this trend of ethnographic documentary in Hong Kong, I argue. So one of the example is uh, urban diary. So this is a, a, a non-profit initiative uh, it's a organization that encourage you know, the, uh, uh, the promotion of sustainability through what through a lot of mean uh, stories, narrating uh, community stories and building database, uh, collect those uh, uh, materials from the, you know, the, 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 the communities and organize events to show the stories and database to the public. And, you know, the main, the core of, you know, the urban areas of course, the, the people's everyday health. Okay, so I will start to show you some of 
uh, example here, uh, that some of the project I would say. Uh, so this is the, uh, uh, the website, um, uh, you know, from, from the menu, you can see they have a series of alternative for this magazine, stories, photos. My focus is of course on uh, videos, uh, those short documentary, uh, all the way down from the 2013, they already produced a lot of uh, visual diary or uh, I would say like ethnographical, uh, ethnographic documentary. Uh, uh, some are focusing on rural communities, some are focusing on maybe the urban community. For example, this tale of some Shepo or the Thai Han fried chickens, you know, are the community nearby the, the downtown. Uh, but uh, they have also had, you know, some uh, documentary about uh, the rural uh, community. For example, my focus of today runs of uh, Soi Hao, uh, one of Soi Hao, Soi Hao, for Go. So, so but at the base, the, the idea behind it, you know, to, 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 to preserve the story from the community, to preserve those, you know, endanger. Uh, element in the community and create a database to to contain them, to store them, and to showcase to the public. Okay, so this is one of the projects, I would say an example or, or, or a trend that we have here. Uh, and and this is a a a a, a, uh, a an organization that encourages uh, a production of some ethnographic uh, documentary. So I some picture here to capture from their project, you know, from the urban and danger community to the rural, even a, a recent production about Yu Guangchun, the architecture, the architectural space of Yu Guangchun. It's a very it's an interesting documentary that walked through the architecture of the whole village and to capture what, although it's already emptied, uh, the, the, uh, the people already, you know, we are okay. And, uh, village is, is 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 going is going to you know uh to be uh, uh redeveloped but that uh, you know through the camera uh, through the uh, journey uh, in the in the village is, is preserved you know uh, the images of the architectural space so this is one of the example but what i want to argue here you know another term i uh, uh, uh key words here is the ecology psychology so what is ecology psychology sorry a sound ecology Sound ecology. What is sound ecology? Uh, by sound ecology, I mean, uh, you know, yeah, uh, a sound ecology. I just, you know, quote from uh, Jeff Talk Titchen, his uh, definition of sound ecology. A sound ecology embody a ecological rationality aimed at who we are, who we think we are, who we know, what we know, and who and what we can do to bring about eco justice in a sustainable world. So it's two, I think the two ideas are really important. To aim at who we think we are. So it is an ontological question, right? The who we are. And aim at how we know what we know. So it is a uh uh a logical question. So it's about you know, aim at two questions ontological as we know logical. And also he has a term called ecological uh, rationality. So I just brought his term uh, to extend his, uh, your this term into the my discussion of uh, Hong Kong ethnographic uh, documentary. So uh, for him, uh, ecological rationality is in contrast to the eco economic rationality. Of course, economic rationality uh, based very much on separation, distant individualism, self-interest, profit, something like that. So in contrast to the economic rationality, his economic, econo ecological rationality based very much on the principles of connection, relation, engagement, uh, cooperation, and interdependence. Um, and within this ecological you know, uh, 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 rationality, he further breaks down into three aspects of this ecological uh, rationality. So okay, to get, you know, discuss this idea in relation to communities, community of the integrated beings or non, even non-beings. So the community of uh, human, other, be other species, and maybe to my case, of course, uh, 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 non-human non entities. And also not only to portray the, the community itself, but 
how we as a agency to actively participate in this or uh, engage uh, in, 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 in this community. So he talked talk about sort of participation in community and last year, the relation, the relationship of uh, human being and nature and non-human world uh, and et cetera. So, so this is the idea of your uh, ecological rationality he proposed and I would like to apply into my uh, analysis of my case. And um, of course, sound ecology and then sound. Sound is a broad term of it includes not only song and music, it can include sound elements. So some other scholars just you know, uh, devote their energy into the sound ecology. They mean that the, the, the song-like elements as mediated between uh, body and the living environment. So some, some scholar will just investigate the bird song or the bird's utterance or the wind, the sound of the wind, the sound of the landscape. So for example, we have bio of uh, acoustics and soundscape ecology to you know through capturing the sound the, the, the soundscape of the bio, of, of the nature then to detect the biodiversity to detect the impact of environmental change or local habit so this can be you know, an aspect of sound ecology but to my uh research here i would like to limit myself only to uh, the case here uh of uh, in, uh, 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 uh uh, the, the sound means you know two things. One is the uh, the song, folk song. Uh, the other is uh, the utterance of worshiping. So uh, I won't you know go into you know, those kind of environmental sound, ambient sounds, and that kind of soundscape. But I focus myself, you know, limited myself on uh, the, these two areas, uh, the folk song and and the and, and the worship. So it's a it, 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 it is a, you know, a, 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 uh, through, you know, because the different, the difference between, you know, those bioacoustics and, uh, my cases is that, you know, we have lyrics here. So lyrics is a kind of verbal, have a, you know, kind of, uh, meanings and, and, and it can, it can use verbal communication, uh, it can generate meaning through reading the text, not only hearing the sound. Uh, it, I think it is a big difference. So it can and then generate a kind of knowledge through you know uh, the lyrics and through of course also the sound. So I will go very fast uh, uh, through my PTSP traces here because I want to show you some clips of uh, a very wonderful clips of some folk songs. So uh, so I divide you. I choose, I pick up three uh, three traces uh, in the Hong Kong ethnographic documentary. Uh, one uh, here we have uh, rhymes of Shui uh, Hao, Shui Hao Poetic Sang, produced in 2017. So it's 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 about you know the documentary is about you know, uh, to record uh, the folk song of we call Wai Tao Hua, Wai Tao Hua, Wai Tao Dialect, okay, Wai Tao Dialect, uh, uh, in the rural area in New Territory of Hong Kong, and then how those you know. Uh, especially one, especially I think it, uh, one instant instant is very important. What what very 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 illustrative is that uh, the old lady in uh in in, in the little village a uh, uh, rural village just sang a song about the migration of birds, and this one of birds from you know January all the way down to December. How the movement of birds throughout the years they observe as a human being. On the ground in the real village in the deep, in the daily living, and then turn this the migration of birds into their lyrics, and they create some kind of what I call the place a uh, place based ecological knowledge. You know, it, it, it is then you know as been the a logical change. You know how change that how they think they are uh, how, or how they you know they understand you know, the interaction between themselves and environment. Um, and then because of this change, and they they, they have the ontological change that or on, on ontological understanding that they are in the community of interrelated beings. Uh, so it's, it's run, uh, the first example uh, in my paper I will, I will, I will analyze, but I don't have time to you know analyze extensively. Uh, 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 just give a brief introduction to it. And second case is uh, the ballet on the soul on Shen Yu Go. It's record. 
the other dialect, the dialect is Tang, Tang Thai dialect, Tang Jawa. And uh, this dialect is commonly speak, uh, spoken by uh, fishermen, you know, uh, people living on the sea. So those are, we call you go, you go fish, fishermen songs. So uh, the songs uh, include what we call uh, a few things. One is Tan Go, Tan Go is a uh, sign song. It's about, uh, it's used in funeral. Uh, use the window. Another type of song is uh, Ham Sui Go, so, so, Salty Water Song, <laughs> maybe I call it that way. It's that, you know, entertainment song that, or you know, kind of, you know, uh, romantic song with some soft, you know, uh, sexual uh, contents within it. Uh, so, but uh, what I want to focus here is another type of song they have with uh, the, 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 uh, the fisherman song. That outline, I would like to show you the script in a minute. Outline the uh, oceanic uh, topography, I would say, through the song. So this song, they don't have in musical instruments. They don't have, uh, they just have, you know, you know, human voices. And then they don't have, of course, they don't have a record of documents about, about the music. They pass the music and the lyrics, you know, gener general, generation by generation through oral teaching and learning, right? So this oceanic uh, topography. Uh, so how I just say I don't have time to to show you the clip. But anyway, this is uh, throughout the lyrics that actually they they they, they outline you know when they uh, sail a boat around the sea of Hong Kong and then they would, what they would encounter the weather the landscape you know the danger and how you can sail your boat safely through the landscape. So I would suggest that through this oceanic topography, they have an ontology called wet ontology, an open imminent and ever becoming world of fluidity and flow. And my last example is I wish, um, it is an example about your worshiping to the God of Hong Kong, Tin Hao. Okay, through this example, I'd like to you know, show you, you know, through the worshiping, the utterance of worshiping, or the sounds of worshiping, it's, you know, Give us the knowledge of a horizon that larger than human life, and we can then connect to, to those non human spirits, uh, the spiritual world through the sound and the worship, uh, the prayers, the sound of prayer are, are, are on musical. So I would say, you know, in my example, for example, C is I would, uh, would like to, you know, uh, uh, suggest that you know, through the sound ecology that record in this uh, ethnographic documentary as a mediation, there's this anographic documentary of a mediation of contemplation to challenge the audience to confront the ecological rationality embodied, embodied in the sound ecology. So sorry that I don't have time to show you for example, uh, but uh, let us discuss uh, it, uh, uh, the, in the Q&A section. So this, that's all my presentation for today. Thank you very much.